Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamite here and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Volt White 2 Redux Let's Play. Today, in the final episode, we are going to fight the remaining trainers that we still haven't beaten yet. Except for a few that requires us to do the White Tree Hollow and stuff like that. Um, that I don't feel like doing. So, because honestly... I really just want to go and start a new Let's Play, if I'm going to be honest. I don't want to go through the whole White Tree Hollow just to fight Benga. I don't want to go through all of the Pokemon World Tournament to do all the gym leaders and champions and all that stuff. I wanted to do all the Hoenn rematches, but apparently I can't seem to do that. I don't know why. And honestly, I'm not too bothered with it. Although I slightly am, because it would have been kind of fun. But, whatever. But yes, there are still some trainers that we haven't been yet. We got the Game Freak staff. We got Hilda and Hil Hilbert. Is it Hilbert and Hilda? It's it's the, the main protagonist from the first game, Black and White, right? Um, and then the Steven and Wallace double battle. I think that's all of them, unless I'm forgetting one. But I think that is all of the battles. That are remaining which we are going to be doing in this episode of course so um, I, I guess there is also like more end battles if you fight them in a specific season he has like different teams and stuff um, which I might do I actually don't know yet I didn't really think about that because I mean I would have to like switch the seasons just to battle him in every team. I think first of all, we're gonna teach Fly back to Brock again. There we go. Bam 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 bam. I think we just go in here, right? And then it should be the building over here. And let's go into the door. I think it's like that. Oh, there's only one floor. Never mind. I thought there were two floors. Here we are. And they should be just chilling over here. There they are. Um, what am I going to lead off with? Eh, I guess I'll lead off with Flint. Why not? Um, do you battle? No, you're just a sound designer. You should battle, though. Oh, you've become someone I can tell. Do you want to have a battle with me? Yes. Well, let's begin. So this guy should have, like, level 90 Pokemons. Let's see. Game Freak Moromito. Ooh, leading with Braviary. That's a bad lead for me. That is pretty bad. It's bad. I do have Thunder Punch, but I don't think that's going to one-shot. I'm not actually going to Clement here. Let's go into Clement. See how well I can take a Brave Bird. I was actually thinking about leading with Brave Bird, but I wouldn't want to try. Going for the Fly. You know what? That's actually fine. Okay, you have the Power Herb. Power Herb Fly? That's crazy. Ha! <laughs> Got staticked. Idiot. Static is... Procking a lot, man. In this game. I don't know what it is, but... Take this Thunderbolt. See how much this does. See, I need to... <sighs> Dude. I need to put back the freaking choice packs on Clement. Because he's just not doing enough damage. And I should just give the Wise Glasses back to... Um, Brashes. Or the white lens. Oh, why would you do that? Well, that's annoying. Come on, paralyze him again. Or crit him. You know you got the luck set, Clement. Dang it, really? That actually did last than last time. And now he's gonna go into a motor drive. Zip strike guy. Well, that's honestly kind of fine because I have earth power. Bounce. Are you? Do you just have everything with a power orb? That's crazy. That is funny, actually. That's hilarious. All right. Well, get this thing out of my face. There's no way you're living this. Substrike us, frail. Are you kidding me, Clement? You suck. I need my choice back, son. I'm back. He's just not doing enough damage. My gosh. All right. The wise glasses is just not enough. It does not boost enough. Do I outspeed this thing? No, I do not. And here comes a power herb dive this time. Yeah, that's actually funny. Can I live this? Elemental's attack is not a great. Okay. 
At least I paralyzed it. Let's go into Brashes. Seems like the best possible play here. Choice pack Sleeve Storm. There we go. That should just one shot. I mean, choice packs. I mean, I'm more or less pretty tanky, but. A choice pack Sleeve Storm, you're not living. Mew! Okay, this thing can learn like any sort of like fly or whatever, so I wonder what it's actually going to use. Never mind, we don't get to see it because I outspeed. And I'm at plus two, so this should just one shot. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What do you have? And there comes the Braviary again, right? I forgot about that. Well, you're not living this. Because I'm at plus four now. And Axcadrail, alright. As long as I can hit. Okay. And he has one more after that. And Lyperd. Oh no, here comes the Prankster Thunder Wave. It's going for <laughs> assist. Wow. And it gets the bounce. Does that power herb? Wow, this one doesn't have power herb. That's a little disappointing. I was expecting the power herb. I'm going into Brock. Do not paralyze me, please. I should not have gone into Brock. What am I doing? What am I doing? Never mind. He missed. Oh, you're gonna he's gonna go for it again. Now he's going for fly. Are you kidding me? Well actually I'd rather have that than bounce, because I can't get paralyzed by fly. Dude, this this actually kinda sucks because when am I gonna be able to attack it? <laughs> I need something that's slower than it. Let's go into Steven! Oh, now he went for dive. I outspeed it? Are you kidding me, dude? Can I... Okay, I can priority it at least. Alright, there we go. Get out of here. Man, that was annoying because when it used assist, it would outspeed me, but otherwise it wouldn't outspeed me. That was really stupid. Okay, that was easy, though. Um, well, let's go and battle this guy. This guy is just gonna have leftovers on every a single Pokemon. I should have healed up my Clement. What am I doing? Being an idiot, that's what I'm doing. Well. Ah, oh, and he's gonna have a bunch of thick mons. Let's see how much Fire Punch does. Come on, do a lot of damage, please. Oh, that's juicy damage. Yes. Moonblast, I can take, right? Right? Come on, Flint. Live it. Live it. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Go for another fire punch. Wapam! And level 92. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh, Snorlax. Are you sure, buddy? Are you sure about that? Here, take this close combat. Alright. And you're gone. See you later. No way you're living this. And your last is a Wiggly... Oh, it's not your last, but your next is a Wigglytuff. Um, we're gonna close combat. You're at least a normal type. You're a normal fairy, so... We're just gonna do as much damage we can with close combat. Oh my gosh, that's just a one-shot flint. You are a monster. I'm gonna KO myself with Life Orb though next turn. Still gonna close combat this thing. Bye bye. See you later. You're not living that. There's no way you're living that. Have I done this battle already? I might have already done this battle. I don't know. I don't remember. But we're doing it again. Woo! Brock, get out of here. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm sorry. I should have gone for Iron Head. Oh well. Jeez, that still does so much damage. Trick Room? This thing gets Trick Room? That's weird. That is really weird. Oh, for Restorer. Why? Gravity? That's a weird move. Alright, goodbye. See you later. And Porygon 2 coming out. Probably has an Eviolite. No, wait, everything has a leftovers, though. No? I don't know. Thunder? Wait, how do you speed me? Oh, wait. Trick room, that's right. I actually completely forgot. Well, I lived, somehow. Yeah, that's definitely Eviolite. Um. 
going to Brashes. He's gonna probably Thunder again. Watch him whip out the Ice Beam now. Okay, Thunder. Cool. We four times resist. Do not paralyze me. Did crit me, though. Alright, bye-bye. Alright, there we go. And that does it. Excellent. Alright. I think I'm gonna save the hardest battle for last, which is definitely the Steven and Wallace battle. Um, because that's going to be a double battle. So that's gonna be very scary. Alright. Next up, we have to go to the Nature Preserve again. Um, unless I wanna do the end battles. I still don't know yet. I'm gonna do the... The battles in the Nature Preserve first. Um, and then we'll see if we do the end battles. I don't know. I don't think they are really that important. But at the same time, I kind of want to show them all. So maybe I will. Either way. Let's fly to the Nature Preserve. Okay, now I just gotta find them. I don't know exactly where they are, but... I'm sure we'll find them, right? I see someone over there. Oh, there's Hilda. I don't know where the other person is. Or maybe we only get to fight one, depending on which version. I don't know. Screw it, I'm, sc I'm leading with Clement. Whatever, let's see what happens. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. They're just like red. Oh wow, we got this battle team. Okay, cool. Zekrom. Oh no. Um, that was to be expected, but at the same time... Are you freaking kidding me? Why an air balloon? It's annoying. Oh, Dragon Hands. Fun, dude. Fun. These guys are level 100. Because why not? Okay, Outrage. No Earthquake. This might still one-shot me, though, because it's like 10 levels higher than me. And I'm just a flat fish. Yeah, goodbye. I'm gonna get swept by this thing. Like, Actually, I'm not. Because I can resist and then go for a shift gear and potentially sweep. Let's see what happens. I can't believe how much damage that did. Holy shit. Alright, Earthquake! You don't have your balloon anymore? See you later. Okay. There we go. Level 100, Zekrom. Are you kidding me? Alright. Volcarona. Okay, I do not like this matchup, actually. This Earthquake is definitely not gonna KO it. He might go for Quiver Dance, though, which would be really scary. I really do not want him to set up a Quiver Dance on me. No, there's no way he's going for that, right? He's definitely going for a Fire Move. He's going to 1. Ooh, I dodged! You know what? Dragon Ants. Yeah, I knew you were gonna quit. Wait. It outspeeds me. Oh, gosh. I should've just gone for Waterfall. Oh, mm, that sucks. Please, can I somehow live a Bug Buzz? Can I live a plus one Bug Buzz? I'm pretty thick. Nope. That's Life Orb. Alright. Should've just gone for Waterfall. <sighs> Do you have Hurricane? Oh, you're just going for Quiver Dance again. Okay. Alright, let's see how much Fire Punch does. God, I'm so underleveled still compared to these. Okay. Decent damage. I'm gonna have to go Fire Punch again. I have to live this. Mac Punch is not gonna KO. 
Wow, I should have gone for Mag Punch. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna lead with Superior and hopefully outspeed the Zekrom and then just go for Draco Meteor. I don't know how fast Zekrom is. And it's level 100. Which is very scary. I'm hoping that somehow I am still faster. I am! Okay, choice packs, Draco Meteor. This has to KO, right? Oh, thank you. Alright. That is great. Because now I'm at plus two. And you're going into your own superior. Oh. Do I outspeed? I did not outspeed. No. I live. Any chance? One HP? Wow. That's crazy. One HP. I lived on one HP. Bro, that's insane. That's actually insane. Oh, this thing is a fairy type. I'm locked into Draco Meteor. Okay, maybe I should take the choice backs off. But it just does so much damage, dude, when I have the choice backs on. Like, it would not have KO'd the Zekrom if I didn't have choice backs on. I'm just saying. Okay, what can this thing do me? This thing is probably gonna put me to sleep, isn't it? I am going to shift gear. Let's see. Please do not put me to sleep. Please, no hypnosis. No hypnosis. Shadow Ball! <sighs> oh, that's not good. Can I live? Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, we live. We live. Please hit your Meteor Mash. There we go. Alright, now comes the full Corona. Now, I think here... I'm just gonna get some damage off. I think Meteor Mesh does more damage than Earthquake. Because it's Metal Coat boosted, Iron Fist boosted, and it's more base power. I think it's more base power, at least. And yeah, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Can I somehow live this? I don't think so, no. Okay. That's good damage, though. We take the damage. And you get Life Orb damage? Yeah, that's fantastic. And I outspeed with Brock. There's no way you outspeed my Brock. Go for a Brave Bird. Oh, you can use a Forest so you want. That's fine. This is going to one shot. For damn sure. Ooh, okay. I'm um, gonna have to switch out here. Oh, he's gonna go for Cell Smash, isn't he? Oh, no. Um, I guess one would be the best bet then. Stone Edge. Okay, it missed. Let's just get some damage off with Waterfall. Let's see. That's what I was kind of afraid of. The Shell Smash, dude. Ooh. Let's see if I can live. Oh, wait, I still have speed. That's crazy. And we get max damage that time. Oh, perfect. Nice job, one. Zorak, you're only sending that in now? Okay. That's crazy. Let's just get some damage up with Waterfall. Ooh, almost a one shot. Can I live this? Ooh, we do live, and Life Orb takes him out. Okay, beautiful. We won. Let's go. Yep, there we go. Oh! We ran into... Oh! Flareon and Eevee. Cool. Okay, so where in the... Mother trucking truck truck... Is... Mr. Hilbert. Unless, like I said, it might be like version exclusive. Nope, he's up there. Okay, so there was a reason for that spot. Alright, here he is. I need to heal up though. Okay, I think he might lead with Reshem since the other went led with um, uh, Zekrom. So I think I'm going to lead with Brock and hopefully land the head smash. That's how I usually have dealt with Reshem so far. So uh, let's give it a try. Alright, let's see how this goes. 
Here we go. Pokemon trainer Hilbert. Yep, there comes the Reshiram. Level 100, of course. I should outspeed. Like, I am a Aerodactyl, right? I outspeed, right? Yes, and I land the Head Smash. Beautiful. See you later, Reshiram. There's no way you're living a Choice Band in Head Smash. I'm sorry. Should be level 95 for Brock. Oh yeah, let's go. Archeops! Um, head smash again. We landed it. Beautiful. Is this gonna be a Brock sweep with head smash? As long as I can hit them all, maybe. Sambrot, okay. I think I'm just gonna play it safe here, going through my brashes. Unless he goes for Ice Beam, which I think he's going for a water move. There's no way he's going for Ice Beam, right? Right? Yeah, waterfall, okay. Beautiful. Leaf Storm, please hit. Let's go. See you later, Samurai. There's no way you're living this. Oh yeah, let's go. Get that boost. Musharna! Can you live a plus two Leaf Storm, Musharna? Well, you definitely can if I miss. Mm, that's unfortunate. I think I can live this though. Precious is pretty good bulk. Yeah. Lived on eight. Come on. Plus two, choice packs, leaf storm. Yeah, let's go, Brashes. Wow. Now I'm at plus four. Okay, this battle is going pretty well. Ooh, Volcarona. I think I'm letting Rashes go down here. Um, just because I don't want him to like set up a bunch of Quiver Dances for free. And at least do some damage. Alright, there we go. Because now... I think they both have a Musharna and a Volcarona. It's kind of crazy. I guess they are very similar teams because, you know... They're sort of the same character. Alright, Brave Bird. And Zorork, yeah, I can break for this as well. GG. Wapam. Oh, that just uh, that just leaves. That just leaves Steven and Wallace that I want to do. I don't think I really care for doing the Anna battles because I don't think they really changed much. Maybe they did. I don't know. Um, but I feel like. Those are going to be a lot of battles. Oh wow, I can't even fly here. Well, but yes, um, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of battles that are just going to be kind of boring, right? So I think I am just going to skip those. Um, and we're just going to go for Steven and Wallace. And that will be the absolute final battle, which is going to be really, really tough. Because my team is really not focused on doubles, and... They have six Pokemon each. That's right. This is going to be the hardest battle in the game for sure. I find it kind of crazy that they have six Pokemon each. And it's not even the challenge mode, right? But let's just see what happens. We have to go to Icarus City. I'm so scared for this, dude. I'm so scared. They're gonna destroy me, dude. This might may take me a few tries. Uh, here we go. Into this house we go. And there they are. Alright. The final battle. Alright, what's a good lead combination? Like, my team is just so singles focused that I don't really have a good combo for in doubles. I think I'm just gonna go with a very fast grass and a very fast fire type. Because they have, obviously, a water... And the steel type up front. So I'm just going to lead up with these two. And hopefully this will work. Hi, my name is Steven. I'm a champion from the Hoenn region. This is my friend Wallace. He's also a champion from Hoenn. You're the new champion of Unova, right? Your Pokemon are looking pretty good. Let us test our skills against you. We battle Wallace and I? Yes. Good. What have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? I want you to come with us with all that you've learned. Here we go. The final battle. 
We're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Wallace and Pokemon Trainer Steven. Pelipper and Metagross. Gonna set up the rain immediately. Maybe I should have brought Groudon with me. Get rid of this rain. Oh, that is such a good combo. Yeah, that's such a good combo because now my Fire Punch is not gonna do as much. Uh, I think, first of all, we're going to leave Storm the Pelipper. Let's just see how much Fire Punch does. In the rain. Wow, absolutely nothing. Oh, but I got the burn! Let's freaking go! That is huge! Leave Storm? That didn't even one shot. Wow. Okay. Can I somehow live this now that you're burned? Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, Hurricane. Never mind. Well. This is a bad start. Yeah. I feel like I need to bring the Groudon, dude. <laughs> uh, this is going to be rough. I think my only chance is doing this. I'm stuck into Leaf Storm. I have to leave some something here. I'll leaf Storm the Pelipper, and I'm gonna set up a Dragon Dance. This is my only chance, dude. Okay, yeah, he's gonna Forest Store. That's actually perfect. Because since Metagross is burned, it's not really a threat. So I think this is the best thing I can do. Alright, good eye. See you later. Dragon Ants? Meteor Mash. You are burned. I'm just going to let this Metagross stay alive because it's burned, it can't really do too much. And I'm going to double focus the Ludicolo. What is more Crunch or Ice Punch? Is it the same? No, Crunch is more, okay. Go for Crunch. I do have speed. Oh, that was so close, dude. Wow. If I was like a level higher, that would have KO'd. <laughs> Damn. Well, at least Life Orb finished him off. Ooh, Stealth Rock. Okay. It's a little scary. It's not great for my Aerodactyl here. I'm afraid like a Kingdra coming out or something. Oh man, this is so... They both having six Pokemon is... Stupid. It really is just stupid. And you have Intimidate. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. I'm gonna head smash Gyarados. I'm gonna set up another Dragon Hands. I have to land head smash here. Hyper Potion? That's not a full restore, so that's fine. It's honestly fine. Please. Please land hand smash, land. Let's go. Even with the attack drop, but that should still one shot, right? Let's go! Let's go, Brock! I am just afraid. Okay. Let me think what I'll do here. I think I just gotta focus the right side. Mm, I kinda wanna switch out so I can be locked into Brave Bird and not be a minus one attack. I think I am going to do that. And then I'm gonna crunch the Milotic. Alright, here we go, Clement. I am hoping Crunch can just one-shot this Melodic here. I'm at plus one. Oh, it doesn't KO. Okay. That's Clement gone, which is fine. Honestly, it's fine. Would have been great if it actually missed, but oh well. Meteor Mash, we eat that, that's burned, and I resisted. Yeah, we just keep the Met Metagross alive, um, so that at the end this just becomes a 1v1. That burn was huge. Like, it was amazing. And I have a great idea here as well, because uh, I'm going to set out Steven here. He's fighting Steven with Steven. I'm going to shift gear with him, and then I'm going to 
finish off the Milotic. Goodbye, Milotic. Alright. We're just letting the Metagross live, because it can't really do too much. We set up a shift gear. Th oh wait, it does have Thunder Punch, okay. But since he's burned, it does absolutely nothing. Okay, Sharpedo coming out now. You know what? I don't really want to KO the Metagross just yet. Um, Is this his last? That is my question. That is my main question here. Yeah, I'm just gonna double team the Sharpedo. Like, the, the Metagross, it just doesn't do that much. Oh, you have a Sash. Okay, I should've just gone for Bullet Punch. Alright, well, at least he's gone. Doesn't matter. I landed the Meteor Mash. Oh, and I get an attack boost, so now I'm a plus two attack. Rough skin, that's fine. I'm gonna take another Thunder Punch to the face with one, most likely. Going for Steven. Okay. Probably because Sharpedo was going for one. Oh yeah, you do have another one. Oh, I'm so tempted to go for Earthquake here, but I can't. Um, I guess we'll go for Meteor Mash on Kaboot Hubs. And I think we actually... You know what? I have to go for Kaboot Hubs just in case it has a Sash. I just need to get rid of the right side. Okay, did not have a Sash. Medium Ash should still KO the Metagross though, I think. And if it doesn't, that's fine, we can live. It, it does, okay, we got a crit. Beautiful. It should be a 1v1 now, right? Or 2v1. Let's see. Yeah, okay, perfect. We should have this in the bag. I'm going for Ice Punch because that thing gets Storm Drain. Should have set up another Shift Gear, honestly, because I knew this was going to KO. Oh well. We should be good now. This is basically a 6v12. And we actually managed to do it. Which is kind of crazy. I'm going to set up a Shift Gear. Because one can definitely KO this thing. Yeah, this is GG's. Beautiful. Alright. Nothing can outspeed my Steven now. We're going for a bullet punch just to break the sturdy. And then we're gonna go for waterfall. It might have Rock Head instead of Sturdy, but I don't want to risk it. We're going for Bullet Punch. Break the Sturdy. That almost just one shot. Wow, that's crazy. Considering how high Agron's defenses are. Alright. See you later. Yeah, that burn on Metagross won us the game. Like, easily. Alright, break the Balloon doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, actually, I'm just gonna go for Meteor Mash, because I don't think Waterfall will be enough. Waterfall will do more damage than Crunch, I think. Because it's in the rain. Alright. Meteor Mesh. That did so much damage. Even though it was resisted. That Wait, that was four times resisted. And that did so much. What the heck? Steven, you're way too strong. Alright. Aerodactyl coming out. That's not a Steel type. Steven, what are you doing? Then again, Cradley wasn't a Steel type either. Bullet Punch. Waterfall. I feel like Bullet Punch will just one shot. I love this team, by the way. Ooh, Focus Ash. Which is fine. What of all? See you later. Oh, I made this battle look easy. Just because I got a burn on that Metagross. Amazing. There we have it. I can't believe that was, was that easy. That would have been ridiculously hard if we didn't get that burn. That burn was huge. Your Pokémon were shining more brightly than the rarest of gemstones. You tr are truly a noble Pokémon trainer. Wow. Amazing. What a great battle to end it off. That was actually really challenging. That was basically a 6v12. So... 
Ridiculous. Alright. I think that is a great battle to end off this series. And uh, end off this video, of course. So, um, yeah. Once again, I thank you guys all so much for watching this Let's Play. If you watched everything so far, I truly, truly love you guys. And... I am hoping you guys will look forward to my next Let's Play, which I guess I can give you a few hints. It's a fan game, a fan-made Pokemon game, so not a ROM hack. Um, it has new Mega Evolutions and new regional, quote-unquote, regional forms. They're not called regional forms in that, but they are. They work in a similar way. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a decently old fan game, but it's a really good one. One of the best ones for sure. It's a pretty dark one as well. And that's all I'm gonna give it for hints. Either way, like I said, thank you all so much for watching this whole let's play with me. And uh, I really enjoyed this game. This is a great game. Sure it had a few hiccups here and there um, with some of the things they edited in the game. Like some invisible character models or sprites. I think there's sprites still in this game, right? They're not models. I think they're sprites. Um, yes. But it was just really fun. And I'm a little disappointed that I didn't try it on challenge mode. Because I feel like challenge mode would have probably been even more fun. But I also just wanted to have... I don't want to necessarily say want to have fun. But I wanted to... Not a, a ridiculously hard time where I would just not enjoy recording. I was kind of afraid of that, but I think I would have been able to do it, especially since it's not a Nuzlocke. Maybe in the future, sometime, just like I said with the Infinite Fusion uh, Let's Play, I, I, maybe in the future I will do a randomizer Nuzlocke of that. Maybe with this game I'll do a challenge mode Nuzlocke in the future at some point. Um, now that I know what most of this game has. I'll be more prepared for it. But yes, once again, I thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.